aggressive, so it would be a very good way. Oh my god. A very good way to see how this feels. Wow, we just went wall to wall. Unintentional. Um. What's up everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit, and today we are on Forza Motorsport 7 because it is update day. If you haven't noticed or haven't been, you know, checking the forums, or you live under a rock, you would not know about this update. But first and foremost, we are staring at that beautiful 8 Series GT3 race car, which we are definitely going to be getting into today because of the new forced feedback. That's the main purpose of coming back today is the new look of the menu obviously it definitely looks amazing and it looks really sweet and uh it's uh definitely a pretty cool change for the new look i like how the car is just chilling right behind my uh my little driver with his gear so the force feedback has been changed so everything has been set back to default with the new force feedback so today we are going to be doing grip and drift to try to dial in our best force feedback setting we are going to be using our full logitech g920 and, uh, well, we'll be using our hydraulic handbrake and everything when we get to drifting. Because, like I said, we're going to do grip and drift. So today, we are going to take, for grip purposes, the brand new 8 Series. And uh, we're going to go to, of course, one of my favorite um, race circuits. What am I doing? One of my favorite race circuits that I've had the opportunity to be on and, you know, experience a race at. Daytona. Lamaze track, what better place to test this 8 series out and test out the grip feedbacks than here at the Daytona because we have some high speed as well as low speed. So it's a good way to test it at the sports car circuit. So like I said, we're going to be trying to dial in our um, force speed by feedback settings. We have not changed anything. It is how the, it came. Only thing I did change was I turned down the vibration because I don't like having a vibration scale on the wheel because you get it through the wheel feedback anyways. So we're going to get the wheel cam turned on. Like I said, Logitech G920, 350 millimeter energy innovations wheel. Sequential shifter. We are running full. Oh. Oh, that just sounds amazing. I'm sorry, this car sounds. Just, just take a second. Okay, that car sounds amazing. So now, we're gonna stall it off the line. This, this is a heavy clutch, apparently. Oh my. This car sounds insane. So like I said, we are on cold tires. So I kind of want to heat these tires up first. See how the feedback fe feels. And first impressions of the feedback. It feels uh, pretty strong. And But like I said, we are on cold tires. So I want to make sure we get our tires nice and warmed up. This, uh, If this is a testament to how, these, how this is going to feel... I'm super excited with this. The HUD has definitely changed also. If you haven't noticed, there's a big uh, change in the way the HUD looks. This uh, this 8 series though. Oh, all right, so I felt that. <laughs> when I, when the, the wheel got a little light when it went over the grass, which makes this feel way more how it should. Nice and stiff, a little bit of a vibration feel through the wheel getting a bouncing around on the rumble strips so so far first impression on the grip aspect of the force feedback it feels very good and I'm uh, very excited to get back into doing some racing and stuff like that in this 8 series just this thing just sounds mean I'm sorry you know myself working for BMW have a passion for these cars and when this car got released it was an amazing car but now to have it in the game and get the chance to drive it, it's uh, it's definitely amazing. Gonna rip it inside for a lap. Got the giant roll bar on our way though. We got our uh, little LCD camera in the back since we can't see behind us. Carbon fiber mirror flexing next to us. So, like I said, the force feedback feels really, 
really good actually in this gripping aspect. The high speed wobble feels good. I was just testing how hard we could break. The wheel does get kind of light when you're uh, hitting rumble strips and stuff like that. But that's how it should. You get a lot more feel of the wheel. When the tires start slipping, the, the wheel gets a little light. Like, you get a little more feel from the actual wheel, which is, I guess, what they were trying to, you know, get into the game because, you know, the wheel physics do feel... Right there, I could feel it slipping. Do feel a lot better, which means there's going to be people that are running way faster lines now with the uh, enhanced feel on the wheel. And uh, I'm definitely enjoying it. So of course the next task is going to be, how does it feel sideways? How does it feel when we get the car sideways? How is the reaction of the wheel spin back and stuff like that? Are we gonna have to fine tune it? Or are we gonna have to tweak it? Cause it feels good for a driving aspect. But uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna feel drifting if we're gonna have to modify it for drifting or if we can just leave it how it is and uh, not modify the settings at all. So let's uh, hop out of here, change up the tracks, and uh, get into a drift car and see what it feels when we are sideways. I uh, feel like Dubai is a good, good course to go to. Got a lot of ups and downs, got a lot of hills, and uh, it'll definitely uh, give us a good test on how this is gonna feel. We're back in a day two split kind of on this uh, wheel setup. So we have been messing with these off camera because I was getting a little annoyed with the settings um, and uh, it just wasn't feeling right. So I took some time and I started to mess with the settings. And I've come to the conclusion that we need to work with the mechanical trail and um, turn off wheel dampening skill. So we're going to try this right now. We're going to try taking this car to Dubai and get it sideways. See how the new feedback feels this way. I believe we're going to kick our force feedback up as well. We're going to go to 120. We're going to go to mechanical 150. And then we're going to go wheel dampening skill to zero. So we're going to uh, give this a go here at Dubai. So what I've come to determine is you got to really mess with the mechanical aspect of the uh, wheel feel because that's really where the feel is. I got my head a little bit too loud. So we are in El Condale's FD car. See, now with the mechanical the way it is, the wheel does feel pretty good with the wheel dampening scale down to zero. It uh, it helps uh, resistance in the wheel when you're trying to counter back. You can still really feel the wheel has some good weight to it, which is also a nice thing because it's kind of smoother when you're in uh, a drift. But if you notice, it's very uh, it's kind of got some really stiff feedback. So I know I'm gonna try and fine tune this more, but for a basic, for a basic uh, setting, that's really not bad. It could also be the way the car is tuned. Just a tap. I tried not to die. Because I know a lot of people are trying to uh, dial these settings in. Now this setting feels good for me. It's quite comfortable. The wheel does not have the self steer like I would have liked it to have it's still kind of still kind of gotta assist the wheel around but it's good because it helps with that snapback so oh, this turn always gets me smack so the new feedback does feel good it's very it's very heavy and very stiff which is uh which is good and bad it's good because the wheel has good feel, 
it has some good weight to it. It's also bad because you can't spin it back as fast. But if you're smooth on your steering, then you should be okay. I chose an FD car because the steering acrimen is very aggressive. So it would be a very good way. Oh my God. A very good way to see how this feels. Wow, we just went wall to wall. Unintentional. Um, honestly, I think that was one of my best runs through this section. So we're definitely uh, hanging it out there. I probably should not have downshifted the third, but I thought I was gonna spin out. So we can definitely get sideways and have a good time here with the new update and the new feedback. You just kind of got to help the wheel around. Um, if you guys have been messing with feedbacks and uh, have figured out a good setting, let me know down in the comment section down below because this is a, uh, a new thing. So this is the settings that I'm running and it feels pretty good for, for my personal driving style and the way my rig is set up. Now you may not like it, but I'm sure in a very short amount of time there'll be the holy grail setting out there but Forza has made a step up in the right direction for feedback is it where we think it should be I feel like we could get a little bit better on the feedback issue but they're definitely moving in the right direction the fact that you have the better feel of the bumps and the road and the way the tires feel like you have a little bit more feeling in the wheel. It's not just like there, like normally the car would just completely lose control, but like, so it has a little bit better of a feel. The wheel's not as, it's not as like free spinning. Uh, so it has more of a mechanical feel rather than just like a, uh, it's hard to explain because People who drive on these wheels know, like, you, you get the feeling, unless you're on, like, a Fantec wheel or a very high-end wheel, you kind of get the feeling of it being a sim rig. It, you, you don't have, you, you, you know it's an electric motor, and you know it's only being driven by gears. But with these, you kind of get almost like a mechanical feel, like you actually have a steering column on the other side of your wheel. So you actually have that, that feeling of a mechanical wheel and it kind of makes the cars handle a little bit better, I personal opinion. Um, if you have a different opinion, you can post it down below. Feel free. Try to just uh, be nice about it because, you know, everybody's opinion matters. So this is what I found that I'm running with right now. That's the settings that I found. And uh, I think this crab walk up here. This, this is how I'm to LS14. Probably one of my favorite FD cars right now. I use this car in Torque Drift. I use this car in Horizon. I use this car in F4 the Motorsport 7. I just love the V8 supercharged S14. And this car is just nasty sounding. So this is what I'm doing and how uh, I'm rocking in my steering. A little quick update on the settings for you guys here. And a little sideways. And uh, I feel like uh, we should definitely get some tandems here in Forza 7 very soon. Run some open uh, drift sessions and a reverse entry, though. Almost reverse entry. That's just a bump. We're in. We're not as clean through here as we were last time. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and all social media, which found in the description box below. Make sure you guys check out the. Uh, make sure you guys check out. The shop that I have up, the Evil Rabbit hoodies are available, as well as the Evil Rabbit channel support stickers are also up there as well. So if you guys want to help support the channel, or you just want some Evil Rabbit swag, it's available for you guys. The link is in the description box below. So I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm probably going to mess with the settings more, but this is a good basic setting. So I feel like I'll mess with the settings more. I'll get with some of the guys that I know that do a lot of... Uh, wheel setups and settings and see if I can uh, brainstorm with them to try to find that holy grail setup and uh, any changes I make to my wheel settings I will let you guys know and I will 
bring to the channel for you guys because uh, I know I'm going to go back to Forza Horizon 4 and double check my settings and do another fine tweak settings on Horizon 4 because a lot of people have been asking. So we're going to go back and do a new settings for Horizon 4 just so that uh, we're on the same page. Uh, I think that's going to do it. So I think that's going to do it. So until next time, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I definitely crashed out.